Stop recording. Hey, you guys. Speech off. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Um, I thought in this video, um, I took a break from reading for a little bit. So, the Hunger Games videos are coming. We set a later date. But I did want to post some more content. But I am currently in a PNDD episode. And so I thought I would sit down and have a real talk with you guys about what a PMDD episode is really like or what a harder PMDD episode is really like. Um, since I found it therapeutic for me to talk and just get it off of my chest and talk about some of the struggles of what I'm going through. And if you don't know, um, PMDD is premenstrual dysphoric disorder, um, which is where your body struggles to deal with the um, dramatic drop in hormones that happens within the 7 to 10 day window before your um, cycle starts and before your menstrual cycle starts and symptoms can include anxiety, depression, irritability, um, stomach cramps, um, breast tenderness, um, like mood swings, like one minute you can be extremely happy and in one minute just, um, be extremely sad um and what makes this different than um like pms like or, or like your normal period symptoms is like the severity i get extremely extremely anxious and some days extremely extremely depressed um it's hard for me to focus on anything it's hard for me some days to really understand that or hard for me to logic with myself that it this is a hormonal imbalance and that it's nothing wrong with me there are some days where um the littlest thing can tip me off balance. Like, someone sends me a message saying, like, like, say, like, at work or something, you get an email, it's like, hey, can you double check this? Like, this needs to be fixed or whatever. Like, it, that normally wouldn't upset me. But during this time period, like, it can make me extremely, extremely, um, emotional, like, I'll, like, make me want to start crying, like, why, like, what did I do wrong, and am, am I about to get in trouble, and it's really hard to slow yourself down and really think, like, this is not your normal self it's your hormones really getting to you and it's hard um and you get really depressed and or i get extremely depressed some days and any small routine changes like if someone's sick and so they're sleeping it off and they're not getting back to me and you know then you know my that depression's telling me like 
oh, they don't want to talk to me anymore. They don't like me anymore. They don't want to be around me anymore. And um, it's really hard to rationalize yourself out of those thoughts and out of that really sad place some days and it's a struggle um and it's sometimes a struggle for your family and friends around you um especially like on the extremely depressive and extremely anxious days um because you know just the week before or just a couple of days before you know you were your happy bouncy self you know and then all of a sudden you're like super anxious and super just down and depressed and easily overwhelmed and it's hard for them to process the fact that it's not them it's that you're struggling with the fact that your body can't handle the hormonal drop therefore there's not enough serotonin in your brain and it's really it's a really hard um, struggle to navigate and try to explain and on top of that I have some anxiety some generalized anxiety that is quite mild but PMDD is a definitely is a definite extreme struggle and It's really hard, but um, therapy has definitely helped me a lot. Learn how to talk about it, learn coping skills, learn how to have discussions with people, um, learn how to plan around it. Um, actually, therapy was how I got my diagnosis um I was originally diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder um but me and my therapist were tracking my symptoms due to the dramatic mood swings and dramatic mood dips that came around my cycle and that allowed me to get the accurate diagnosis of PMDD and allowed me to have the right conversations with my OBGYN to be able to get some more help. Um, in the right amount of help um i take zoloft for my um pmdd um which has definitely helped um i think i'm on yeah right now i'm on 50 milligrams which is i think with zoloft there is a 25 milligram dose, but 50 is the lowest that is recommended for someone with PMDD. It is the lowest dose they prescribe with um, PMDD, which is, it has definitely helped um, take some of the edge off. Um, this has definitely been one of my more severe episodes that I've had probably since I've been on the medicine. Um, 
which I think I know why due to some circumstances that happened, um, just some other things, but, um, I think I'm probably going to get her to up it next time I go in, but definitely between my therapy and being on the, cert the Zoloft, I take the generic certainly has definitely been a lifesaver and I also um, take Wellbutrin for just the, my some of my other anxiety but the combination has definitely been really helpful um, but I just I wanted to sit down and have this real talk with y'all. I don't know if this will be helpful for anyone, but yeah. See y'all in the next one. Speech on 60%. 55% 50 cap stop record 45 50 per 45 45 portrait 40 per 30 45 per camera shoot stop record